Hey everyone, so this is part two of my poaching chicken recipe. So I'm gonna take my poached chicken and I'm gonna do a chicken curry salad and I'm gonna make the chicken caprese pasta salad too. So if you want to know what to do with that poached chicken, keep on watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop all of my veggies for both of my salads and I also have water getting ready to boil so I can cook up my bonza pasta. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop up my garlic I'm just going to push this down a little bit. And I'm just going to mince this garlic up for both. So I'm going to do a curry chicken salad so I can have that for sandwiches. And then I'm going to do a caprese bonza pasta with the poached chicken too as well. I'm not really into like plain chicken salad. I think it's kind of boring. Um, so we're going to use some spices to really like give it flavor. So I'm gonna chop this up and I'm gonna create a paste with this that way the garlic gets less acidic and I can also get some salt in too. So I'm gonna use my gray salt, so my preferred salt, which is like a the Celtic salt. And you don't have to use Celtic salt. I just we always use it. It's mineral based so it's easier for me for the way my diet is. And if someone's like diabetic in your family or has heart disease, it's just it's just better to do the mineral-based salt. It has a lot of flavor, so you don't have to use a lot. So I'm gonna chop it up. A little fine. I'm keeping my fingers on the tip of the knife. I actually really love the sound of chopping. It's like insanely comforting. And then I'm gonna take the top part of my knife, and what I'm doing is I'm kind of spreading it, the garlic a little bit, almost like butter. So that the acid is broken down. And I'm just gonna go a little bit more with it and I'm gonna put half and half of this garlic into two containers, one for my curry salad and the other for my pasta salad. Okay and I'm gonna use the bonzo chickpea pasta to get a little bit more protein in my diet so I'm gonna use half the bag so that's about 10 ounces. And with the pasta because it's chickpeas it's good to kind of stir it occasionally or it starts to stick and get kind of gummy. Okay, so pasta's going, we'll keep an eye on that. Ooh. And I'm gonna cut up our onion. I've got a red onion, the other half of my red onion from earlier that I used for my lunch. And I cut it kind of weird, so that's my fault. I'm gonna go ahead and mince this guy up. I'm just making lines going under so that it's easier for me to dice. You can cut your onion however you want. It's just easier for me to cut it that way because it's how I was taught. And it was weirdly cut because it's my fault. I was cutting it in rounds because I was using one of the chicken breasts from earlier to like almost like deli meat. So not ideal, but I was hungry. So you don't have to add the red onion. You can honestly, I was thinking about putting roasted peppers in here, but decided not to. So I'm putting half in for my chicken curry salad and the other half in my caprese. Before I cut my chicken, the last thing I'm gonna cut is my tomato. So I'm gonna cut it in half and I wanna actually pull all the seeds out. I don't like the seeds. So I'm gonna wedge them first and then remove the inside. Like that. And if you ever make bruschetta, bruschetta or whatever, bruschetta, whatever, you know, that word. It's good to take the, the inside out of your, for your bruschetta. So I'm gonna cut this guy into a nice, small, little brunoise-ish. I'm saying ish because it's hard to kind of see where I'm cutting without cutting my finger the way my camera's set up. So it's kind of comical trying to cut this from the side. But I'm using plum tomatoes or Roma tomatoes. So if you want to de-skin yours, you can. I'm not going to. And this is going to go in our caprese salad. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to chop are these bay leaves, or basil leaves, sorry. I'm just going to pull it off the stem like that. And I'm going to take them and roll it up and thinly slice. 
It's basil. <laughs> oh, you can't even see it. Sorry. To a chiffonade. It's just thin strips. It's so fancy when people say chiffonade, but it's just thin strips. And you can cut it finer if you want, but I like big pieces of basil. Like, you know, bam, 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 bam. I'm not going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to put this in. Okay, so my pasta is about done, so I'm going to drain it. These chicken breasts cut up. And I'm going to cut these into cubes. For my caprese salad. And I'm just going to cut it super fine. I just find the pan. And the other one, I'm going to go ahead. I might even take that chicken breast and then shred it. Okay, so this is the curry chicken salad. This is half a cup of mayonnaise, teaspoon, half a teaspoon of curry powder, a tablespoon of honey, and two tablespoons of grape wine. And I'm just gonna mix this together. Okay, so I put about a tablespoon of olive oil on here, and I'm just going to put a lot of vinegar, because I don't like vinegar. Okay, so I, sorry, Madeline was messing with my, messing with this. Okay, so I have the balsamic in here, and I have these little mozzarella. Every time I open this, I end up squirting myself with the juice, so I'm going to pour some out, because it ends up being a problem. Don't pour all of it out, because it keeps it fresh. I'm going to pour some of it. I love the burrata. If you can get burrata, those are my favorite. So I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna cut it. That's not, ignore the clock. That's just Kevin's watch. But yeah, this is a really nice, easy, it's full of protein, nice, easy salad. And I'll probably just do two more. But it's nice to have because sometimes I'm like, oh, I'll just eat one of Madeline's lunches. And then I feel like crap because I'm eating a 13 year old lunch and my digestive system can't handle that. I don't know how she eats half the stuff she likes to eat. So I try to keep it relatively healthy for her, but it's still like, I can't have the same food that she eats. It's just, it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this guy a little bit. And the only thing I'm gonna add, I'm not even gonna add any salt. Sometimes I'll add Parmesan cheese, but I put salt in with the garlic, so it's really not necessary, but look how good that looks. I'm gonna put a little, Whatever oregano, I literally have no oregano left. I gotta order some. But I'm gonna use the dry oregano. It's nice because it'll sit in the fridge. And that's it. So I've got my lunch ready for tomorrow. And that same poaching liquid, if you watched my other video, I, I saved it and I poached my salmon with it. Well, Kevin's salmon. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.